The remains that are suspected to be those of a missing Columbia mother are currently in the process of being identified. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Lucas Geisler. Deborah has the night off. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch is live at University Hospital tonight after speaking with an expert in depth about the examination process. Connor, a forensic investigator that deals with teeth, started work last night to identify the remains found Thursday. <laughs> And Lucas, that work is happening right here at University Hospital where the Boone County Medical Examiner's Office is. Now that office told us that they hope to have this work done in the body identified by Friday. And an expert I spoke with said that this could be a quick process. Of all the substances in the body, the teeth are the hardest substance, and they're also the one that can best resist decomposition. After Columbia police say decomposed remains were found with some of Munchie G's personal documents nearby, a forensic team is trying to confirm that the body is hers. A retired dentist and a member of the American Board of Forensic Odontology, Jim McGivney, said the first step in the process is gathering dental records. We would contact the suspected missing person's dentist. If we're fortunate in this case, we would have a nice dental record. The next step is taking an x-ray of the remains and comparing those images to the dental records if they're available. And hopefully everything would match up. G's husband, Joseph Elledge, is accused of killing her in October of 2019. McGivney says teeth are a good way to identify a body, especially after a long period of time. We can find teeth from people that are thousands of years old. Teeth, just if, if they're in a good location, will just maintain there. Now, what could trip up a forensic odontologist is not having sufficient dental records from when the missing person was alive. Studies have shown that even identical twins have different shaped teeth. So we can look at the shapes of the tooth crown, the roots of the teeth, and the positioning of the teeth. And after this exam, officials say that a forensic anthropologist will take a look at the remains next, and that will happen on Thursday. Now, that expert will look for any signs of injury on the bones and to compare that to any animal activity that may have happened where those remains were found. Reporting live in Columbia, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News. Connor, thank you. We reached out to the Boone County Medical Examiner's Office today for an update, but did not receive a response.